night in Centennial Baker Stadium, a great crowd uh, again, and uh, found a way to get a found a way to get our first win on the books. I thought uh, we played our most complete game. If you look at all three phases, uh, less mistakes than we had in the first two, uh, better execution, and obviously the outcome was uh, was was much better than what we had the first two weeks. Very really proud of how James Tabry came in and, and uh, relief of. Uh, of uh, Freddie and, and played very very well, but uh, really just in, in all three phases played a lot better, and, and I think we got better as a team, which should uh, carry us into uh, a tough matchup on the road against Toledo this week, who's playing great football, and we've uh, we we know him fairly well after seeing him in the bowl game. They 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 are still just as good or better than we we saw in uh, the GoDaddy Bowl, and so it's a huge challenge for us. Thank you, Coach. Our first questions come from uh, Ryan Otillo with the Toledo Blade. Uh, Ryan, please go ahead. Hey, Coach. Uh, looking back to the Go Daddy Bowl, uh, there are going to be five new offensive linemen and new quarterback. How much of that tape is going to be useful to you? Well, Matt and those guys are going to continue to run in the same system. and you know, we've, we've talked ball in the past. Back, our, our paths crossed uh, seven, eight, nine years ago when uh, they first took the job at Toledo uh, and, and we visited while we were at Southern Miss. And the same things are still there. They, they've recruited well. They've been there long enough that they're going to replace those old linemen. They've replaced them with good players. Uh, the quarterback is capable and, and, and plenty talented. So, you know, I think the bowl games is a very good, uh, you know, uh, evaluation tool for us. And then we get – we get the, the benefit of watching three really good games from them as well. So it'll be in there and, uh, because there's a lot of the same bodies, and, and obviously the staffs have not changed. And obviously in that game, the running game was a huge part of what ended up happening. What does your team have to do better against Toledo's run game this time? Well, we, we look a good bit different, which is fortunate for us. We're playing the run better, but uh, but we, we obviously know that uh, they're very talented. They, they run the ball well. Uh, the, you know, they'll have all their weapons at their disposal. I know they played a couple games without uh, the Hunt uh, kid, and, and so he'll be back in the mix as far as we know. And, you know, we just got to play gap sound. We, you know, went back and watched the game uh, again yesterday, and there were several times we just didn't fill gaps and were out of place and end up with two guys in a gap or, or end up just not fitting properly, and they took advantage of it and, and, and thought they ran physically and we, we didn't tackle well in space. Uh, we were uh, We missed tackles at – could have been uh, five, six-yard gains or even, honestly, some no-gain plays that, that would have uh, changed the outcome of the game that, that ended up being explosives because we didn't take care of our business. And That's been the same thing we've talked about the first three weeks. We've got to tackle better in one-on-one -on -one situations, and we've got to be assignment sound. We've got to be in the right spots. Now, our defensive front has the whole point better than they did a year ago, but we're built a lot differently than we were at the bowl game. We were we were beat up and very small. I'd like to think that we're going to be more physical and we're going to be better at the point of attack than we were at that, at that game. Thanks, Mike. Sure. Thank you, uh, Ryan. And uh, thank you, Coach. That was all the questions we have for you today. We do appreciate it.